So a viewer reached out to me in a comment section of one of my videos asking for advice on purchasing a vintage timepiece. He was concerned on purchasing something that was potentially fake or not running correctly. So in today's video, the advice I gave him is what I'm going to tell you guys. And this video is going to be for you guys out there who are considering purchasing your first vintage watch, but also for you guys who are purchasing vintage watches already and have a collection. I want you guys to comment down below and give your advice for someone out there that may be trying to test the waters and purchase their first vintage timepiece. So here's how I responded to that viewer that left that comment. I pretty much said that you could be confident that there's amazing vintage timepieces out there and there's a variety of different options of where you could purchase a vintage timepieces. Some are more risky and others aren't. But the ones that are not risky, sometimes you're going to pay for that comfort of purchasing. And the less risky one is purchasing from a vintage watch dealer. There's many out there. You could find them on Instagram, some are on YouTube, and you could Google locally vintage watch dealer depending on your town or wherever you are. There's beautiful, amazing vintage timepieces out there and you just need to hunt and find the right one for you. Now, the more risky side is purchasing online from a private person that could be on Chrono24 and on eBay. So I told this person you could buy on Chrono24 and eBay, but you're going to have to know what you're looking for. You're going to have to do your research before actually purchasing and making sure that you ask the right questions to the seller. One of the key points that I mentioned to him is to ask for a picture of the movement. Once you get a clean, clear, close up shot of the movement, you could take that picture and go to your local watchmaker and ask questions and get advice. And once you get the, you know, the sign off that, hey, this is a decent movement, that should make you feel confident enough to purchase that vintage timepiece. Now, there's a bunch of different variety of brands out there that have amazing timepieces, not just Rolex. You could go to Omega, you could go to Longines, you could go to IWC, JLC, Wittenauer, Seiko. There's a bunch of different brands out there. So you're going to have to narrow it down to which one that you're going to actually go after. One of the last pieces of advice that I left in that comment section for that viewer was that once you're purchasing a vintage timepiece, purchase with the mindset and the expectations that you're going to have to service the timepiece. Whether it's on eBay, Chrono24, just purchase with the price in mind that you're going to have to service it once you receive it. Now, the only way you could kind of go around this is if you purchase from a vintage watch dealer. A lot of vintage watch dealers, when they purchase a timepiece from whoever, wherever, which whether it's an auction or a private person, they usually uh, typically have it serviced before they sell it. Now, some <laughs> may not, and they may say that they had it serviced. Who knows? But if it's a reputable uh, watch dealer that you could trust, I mean, hey, they must have had it serviced and have the paperwork and receipt that it was serviced. Some vintage watch dealers have in-house watchmakers, so more than likely the watchmaker looked over it and made sure that everything was authentic and running correctly, put it on a time graph, make sure it's running accurately, and you should be good to go. But like I said, you're going to pay a little premium for purchasing from a watch dealer unless he got it for a real good price and he could sell it to you at a decent price. From my personal experience, it's rare that I find a fake vintage watch. More often, I find a fake modern watch or neo vintage. A lot of vintage timepieces, you're going to have to look out more so for Franken watches, maybe aftermarket parts, things like that. But more than likely, if you know what you're looking for, most vintage timepieces are just all original, not fake. Now, when I have a vintage watch in front of me, let's just take, for example, my Omega Constellation 168.005. This was a timepiece that I purchased off of eBay. Just looking at the pictures and the small description that this person left, I was able to analyze the situation and know that this person isn't a watch person and they just found it in an estate sale. Now, I did ask the necessary questions that I needed to feel comfortable purchasing, but the pictures alone gave me enough confidence that I need to buy this watch that's on my wrist right now. It's just the overall originality of it. The person mentioned that they just found it in an estate sale, sitting in a drawer, and it was been sitting there for how long? I took a closer look, and I could tell that everything was original. 
I did my homework. I did my research initially. I've been looking for an Omega Constellation. I've been purchasing a bunch of different Omega Constellations throughout the years. So it's not my first Omega Constellation. So I know exactly what to look for. I know exactly what to look for based on the case, the movement, the dial, the bracelet, everything. Whether it's the serial number, the, the caliber of the movement, everything I knew. Like I'm an expert when it comes to Omega Constellations. That's the thing that I do. Whenever... Whenever a watch stands out to me and I'm like, I like this watch, whether it's, you know, just the overall look of it. And I'm like, let me find out more because before I make a purchase, I need to know why I'm making this purchase. It can't just be because this timepiece looks good. Most of the timepieces I purchase are over a thousand dollars. So if you're going to be spending a thousand plus on a timepiece, you need to know a little bit more about it. Do the work and you're going to appreciate the timepiece a little bit more. And also, you're going to know what to look for and you're going to get the right thing. So it's like I said in the beginning, for those of you who collect vintage timepieces already, I want you guys to comment down below and leave some advice or tips that could help someone that probably want to purchase their first vintage watch. And another piece of advice that I can give is something that he did, which is comment and ask for advice. When it comes to the vintage community, a lot of us are open and honest. We're willing and open to answer questions from random people, from strangers. I don't know if modern watch collectors are open and friendly enough to help a stranger find a timepiece. Most of them honestly don't even know much about their own timepieces. But what I've noticed is that vintage watch collectors, they always dive deep and they're very passionate and helpful when it comes to timepieces and helping others find the right timepieces. It's just a, a great community. So what you need to do is find a watch group, whether it's on Facebook, whether it's on Reddit or some Omega forums. But some specific watch brands have their own individual websites and forums where people always are available to help you, whether it's to find a timepiece or just talk about watches in general. So, guys, I'm going to leave the video here. I want you guys to comment down below and share any tips and advice that you could share with someone that may be trying to purchase their first vintage timepiece. Remember, guys, to give the video a like, share it and subscribe if you haven't done so yet. And turn your post notification on so you can know whenever I post a new video and stay tuned for the next video.